What some call minor changes to a Johnson County park, neighbors feel would largely impact them. The now Casey's Mackenzie Nelson explains. Johnson County Community College wants to put in a 10 foot wide path that would connect this gravel pathway that I'm standing on to this portion of South Campus Drive. They want to do so in case of an emergency situation. What we're not doing is we're not trying to take over the park. Chris Gray works for JCCC. He says it's all part of the college's facilities master plan adopted in 2016. And really what we're looking to do is, is keep safety and security uh, top and present for the college. That's something we've got to ensure for our community and for our students. In 2014, there were reports of someone with a gun on campus. Gray says it took almost three and a half hours to get people evacuated and emergency vehicles onto campus. You, you think about that time frame. That's a lot of time where a lot of things can happen and a lot of confusion and a lot of chaos occurs. The school's goal is to have a more formalized plan in place. Currently, there's only two points of entry and exit. JCCC wants to connect to an existing path through Stoll Park to create an extra route. Nearby neighbors feel it's unnecessary. We don't think they need one <laughs> because they do have plenty of access and if it's a true, true emergency, they can run through the grass as it is. Tracy Satterfield lives next to the park. She's concerned connecting the path would create more traffic. I'm more worried about what's the next step. Oh, you know, I can see this. What about special events? What about graduations? What about this? Mm -hmm. Uh, we just don't want to open a can of worms. The school says barricades would be at both ends of the path and only be moved in an emergency. Neighbors worry that's not the best plan. A likely scenario would be that emergency vehicles need to reach the college before those barriers can be moved. Next Tuesday, Johnson County Community College will host a listening session on the school's campus. That meeting will get going at 7 o'clock. In Overland Park, Mackenzie Nelson for the Now KC. The college partnered with the park on this project and the school would be responsible for the costs. For more information about the public meeting, visit our website, KSHB.com.